Hello and a warm welcome back. We got ourselves an opponent from Serbia. All hail Serbia and uh, Novak Djokovic, another man who knows how to stand on his own two feet and not care what anybody <laughs> gives a damn, right? I don't give a shit. Neither says he. That's what that's what we love to see, right? That's why you get unfiltered commentary telling you exactly what's what. Like this line here. I mean, what is it? It's a, a gem of a line for any budding player with white. If you learn this line, you're going to win more games. Just play it the way I do. You're going to win more games. Simple as that. Is it so hard? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. I mean, the opening I play with black, for example, is something I, I learned from a, a good friend of mine who just so happened to be the former world champion. <laughs> yeah, true story, true story, true story. Yeah, I'm sensing a moment here that I can... Hmm. I'm sense another moment here. <laughs> I can give up the pawn and win it back. Give it the pawn and then win it back with some tempo and get a rook on the seven. These are key ideas in chess to be able to execute. Key ideas. You want to execute the minority pawn break fluently. And make just enough room for guarding this, the, the weak pawns in the king setup. Learn this opening. Yeah, do what you want. <laughs> uh, right, right. What here? Maybe we capture? No, he's putting pressure down here. I don't like that. I have to say I don't like that. We're gonna dislodge the rook from here. So that we loosen the pressure. And... Now we could execute some tactics, but does it all work out? Kind of meh. Kind of meh, because... Yeah, it's interesting. But... It's not much. How about if we challenge the spawn instead? Don't think that's much better either. Hmm. What if we challenge the bishop instead? That could be a way to keep the game going. You have to play strong moves when the position is tough. This was a tough position. There were a lot of interesting ideas. Uh, it's executing the same idea, which is... The same idea, which is to hold uh, a big pawn center. That's what he's trying to do. And we're trying to make it a little bit harder for him to do that. Because if he gets the big pawn center, then he can block off the bishop, and then suddenly the pawn becomes comes in a whole world of trouble, potentially. The good news is knight can always hop into this outpost and defend that square. Only after the pawn moves forward, though. So, the move ordering is kind of tricky. Okay. 
Is this move ever going to be on the cards? Needs these tactics to work out well. Knight is just a little bit in no man's land here. That's part of a big problem in this position. Big problem in this position. I think we gotta go back. Wait, let's try to trade off this bishop, maybe. He's the one who's hunting me down. Then we can also use the follow-up move to get the queen in here, get some active play against this bishop. Very tense position here. Let's take something off, try to simplify the game. Um, queen is out of the firing line. Things are just about held tight here, but how do we handle this knight? This bishop, okay. No choice. Queen comes in with, knight comes in with some tempo, maybe. No, oh, no. He plays this way instead, which seems like it could create an opportunity. So I'm just gonna go with my gut here a little bit. <laughs> so much for going with your gut. God damn. God damn it, Johnson! How many times have I told you not to go with your goddamn gut on a goddamn working day? Don't you know? Don't you, haven't you learned anything? God damn it, Johnson. All right, how do we fight when when a fight's over? That's what we're gonna learn today. That's what we're gonna see, okay? Uh, I'm not promising nothing, but I think we can play on the hubris of our opponent. He might try to be the perfect magician. And <laughs> that's that's what we can try to exploit. Try to exploit that human need that he has to be the ultimate primo supremo and in the process hopefully burn away enough seconds on the clock that i can hope for some sort of a miracle but even a miracle is not going to be enough because i'm a piece down a piece down is not a big not a small matter not a small matter at all and you know the thing is we have to trade off the bishop which is an important piece in such a position so that's not good news either no good what we can do is we can block the spawn's development and we can continue to play fast. Continue to play fast and, you know, when there are seconds on the clock, anyone can win, right? I mean, even Neiman can beat Magnus when there's just a few seconds left, so so can you, all right? This is 2100 level. This is chub stuff. If you get down to the final 30 seconds, people tend to choke. They tend to crack. And when the cracking comes a whipping, that's when you got to get your show in the in the action, right? You got to you got to play like with a, with a lot of courage, a lot of fire. Okay, bring the fire, bring the fire. Your piece up, show it. Show your show me where you're at, man. Don't start choking now. Don't start choking now. Choking's for quitters, man. Okay, let's not get carried away. Let's not get carried away. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Thing is, Rook comes in with an interesting check, but might not be enough. What if try this and then trade off and win the pawn? Win the pawn, stay in a fight. Let him let him give you a few bullshit checks. 
Bullshit checks are okay. We can handle bullshit checks. Okay, he's gonna come in with the knight. Nasty with the knight. We're gonna trade the queens. And let's creep our way to the finish line. Shoot three. You know, these these guys who are in the blitz, they don't have to do the bullet finish, so obviously, you know, good for them, good for them. But uh, that's, that's one of my skills, and uh, that's how we win games when you're behind. How to win when you're behind. You know, you got to fight. You've got to make it hard for them. Play to your advantage. If your only advantage is the clock, play on the clock. Okay, so I told you you can watch this opening and learn from it and become a pro, but if you don't want it, that's okay. I'm not going to complain. It's not, not my business anyway. Uh, I'm a little bit tired, so I'm just going to go through this quickly and then head on for other things. But that was a big blunder. Yeah, that's when I started using my gut. <laughs> but... You know, the good news is we played fast and fiery after that, and we took the little moves that we just made him crum crumble. He, cra he cracked. You see, he cracked under the pressure, and that's not all too common. All of you have experienced that. It happens very often when you're just feeling the heat. Uh, pros know how to play when they're behind. Uh, they, ju they just do. They just do. So this is interesting, like I should have played the rook here first, right away. Not even bother with the whole thing. But why is that better? What's the marginal improvement? Well, it just forces to more or less the same position already. Here I should have delivered a check and another check. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.